Well, hello everybody. Um, Val has been very busy this entire day because of the uh, memorial that they're putting together for Fred. Uh, I have been working all day on a slideshow for Fred as well. So, um, we haven't really recorded anything, either one of us. I've been sitting here in front of this computer pretty much all day. It's been exciting. But I did finally get it done. And so, uh, so that there's something to put up, uh, we're going to do another Frankenstein. For those of you who remember from years ago, when we have something like this happens and we don't record anything, we kind of cobble things together from the last couple of days to fill up some space. And it's uh, good stuff, but we just didn't have time for it because uh, either Val or I recorded way too much stuff for the day. And uh, so, hope you enjoy it. It's got some interesting stuff in it, but uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Hey everybody, so I haven't really done a whole lot today. Um, mostly I've been working on um, stuff for Val, for uh, uh, Fred's and Memorial and things like that uh, on online. And uh, so I just wanted to come on and say hi. I've got something uh, uh, interesting. I don't usually do product reviews or things like that, but this was I thought kind of important for those of you who wear glasses, if you haven't heard of this or not. Um, I wear trifocals uh, mainly because most of my, for the last 15 years, I've been in front of a computer and it really ruins your eyes, that's for sure. So, um, but I had two pairs of trifocals and they are both, they both fell apart, just fell to pieces, which um, is real annoying considering it costs about three hundred dollars to get these and um, the, I remember this particular one um, the frames were hundred and nine dollars for the frames and that was the cheapest I could get where I was going and it the the lenses every time I clean the lenses they pop out just like that it was just awful it was worse than I just hundred and nine dollars for that kind of uh, junk so, in order to, I couldn't afford to pay $300 for a pair of glasses, so I ended up with three different pairs of glasses. Uh, these are actually my computer glasses I'm wearing right now. Uh, these are my reading glasses, which for the last couple of weeks you've seen hanging from my shirt, just in case I have to read. And this is what I've been using uh, mostly. I kind of like the frames, but I kind of don't. I don't know if I like them or not. But um, the prescription isn't exactly right, but it's good enough that I could drive. So three pairs of glasses I need to wear. So I decided, well, I wonder if there's anything I can do online. You can find uh, inexpensive stuff anywhere. So I found this place called Zenny Optical. And um, Zenny Optical, Z-E-N-N-I. I got to put my glasses on. Hold on. Zenioptical.com, and if you have your prescription, if you know what you need, you can order your glasses from here for 30 bucks. And uh, I I ordered bifocals because I really decided I really decided that I didn't need the, the the computer one. I just needed distance and reading. And if I sit in front of the computer, I'll just put those glasses on. But um, so and it took a week. To get them, and that was that manufactured and uh, uh, and sent to me. I'm pretty impressed. Thirty bucks. They're cheap enough that I could buy another pair if I wanted to get something different. Uh, cheap enough for me to, if I wanted to get um, a, uh, sunglasses, which some I have not been able to wear sunglasses in years. I could probably afford to do that. So uh, I'll put that in the description. But it comes with the uh, glass cleaner and a, and a little plastic case, and uh, um, I was very impressed with the whole thing. The glasses actually are uh, better constructed than my $109 ones, and the frames were 10 bucks, and the, the lenses were 20 bucks. So a total of 30 bucks that included shipping. So very happy. These are my glasses that you'll probably see me wearing from now on, unless I'm painting now. And those go back on because they're already paint speckled from yesterday. So uh, that's it for me today. And um, I know um, uh, Val is uh, probably traveling tomorrow. 
and um, it really needs to get away uh, um, after uh, after everything that's going on. So I will see you all tomorrow. Just one more sign to show that my dad is still riding shotgun with me. You know how when you're driving and you lose a radio station and uh, try and find a new radio station? Well, I lost my radio station, so I was scrolling through and I found another country radio station. And the name of the radio station is The Wolf. There you have it. He's still with me. Here we go. That's the Chloe I know. That's the Chloe I know. Uh-oh. Brett! You guys gonna play? You guys gonna play now? Time for Maury's close-up. Time for Maury's close-up. I guess he doesn't have a three-foot rule. No. <laughs> can't see the camera. <laughs> All right, so we're at a concert in the park here in Ontario Town Square, and we're watching a, um, um, a Beatles cover band called... Britain's Finest is actually a, out of Hollywood and um, they are pretty, looks like they made a study of the Beatles because they're using the actual instruments that uh, I know that the Beatles used and uh, they're wearing wigs and um, uh, their, their first set was early Beatles, uh, their second set is going to be uh, probably uh, Sergeant Pepper's, maybe also um, uh, Yellow Submarine. I don't know if there's going to be a third set, but uh, I'd record them for you, but I wouldn't be able to uh, put it up on the blog anyway. So I'm sure. Uh, I think the Michael Jackson estate owns all the Beatles music now, so they definitely wouldn't be happy with that. It through the houses and the trees and stuff here but there is a big beautiful lake down there not even sure what kind of, what the name of the lake is or anything because I'm not even sure where I'm at right now somewhere in New York but it looks absolutely beautiful down there look at that and how big it is Man, would my dad love to have come up here and gone fishing. Wow, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Own one of these houses right on the lake. That would be awesome. There you go, Pa.